What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Man, it's been a long time since I've played this game, but yeah, I'm back playing London Taxi Rush Hour. Again, it's been quite a long-ass time since I've played this game. It's been probably like, God, it's had many years now. It had to have been at least like five, if I had to guess, like five years since I last played this game, so... Yeah, see how it goes and all that good shit. I obviously, as you guys can tell, it's a very low-budget game, but still pretty fun from what I remember. Just driving around with a taxi, just fucking shit up. Not really going to focus on the mission during this first part. Mostly because I actually have some news for you guys. So, um, I'm literally just going to be driving around here doing stupid shit. I mean, the doing stupid shit thing should go without saying, because I always do that, but still. Um... Actually, uh, I do have some news. So I uh, recently applied for a job at a place. I'm not going to say where exactly. Um, I just ran that person over, but it's not GTA, so you don't see all the blood and guts and shit. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, just um, just got a call back from one of the representatives of the place that I applied to, and they're like already talking about like setting up fucking. Um, like orientation and shit and I'm like wow damn that escalated quickly like they're already talking about setting up orientations and shit and like um I'm just surprised you know like granted pleasantly surprised but yeah I wasn't expecting them to like start like doing like orientations and shit but like yeah they're, like, already talking about setting me up for, like, orientations and training and shit. And I'm like, wow, that escalated quickly. Like, don't you want to do, like, a drug test first or, like, an interview or... Because it's a bigger company, so I figured they you know, want to do that shit first. But they're already talking about setting up, like, an orientation and training thing. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right, cool. I'm down for it, you know? Um, so... Yeah, pretty cool. So that's some good news, I guess. I'm still nervous as hell, though, because, like, um... I... Because, again, you know, it's just I don't really do well in unfamiliar social situations, but, yeah. I mean, I'm very nervous, but I'm also happy, you know? It's good news, but... I'm also very nervous, but I figure, you know, once I get this new job once I get into the swing of things you know I figure it won't be so bad it was kind of like that when I first started at the restaurant too you know like I was I was a nervous wreck when I first started at the restaurant honestly I was terrible at the job when I first started granted taking the um you know anti-social kid with ADHD social anxiety and depression and making him a host at a restaurant maybe wasn't the smartest idea but to be fair my sister's not as smart as she thinks she is Anywho, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, somewhat. But anyway, um... Oh. Okay. Shit, I'm supposed to take this guy somewhere? Whatever. But anyway, uh... Yeah, so that's some good news. Got a call back from those people about that shit, so that's pretty cool. Alright, nice, made some money. Alright, um... But yeah, that's pretty much it as far as, like, the main update is concerned. But yeah, so, that was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting them to, like, already be talking about doing, like, orientation shit. But yeah, it's one of those things where at first, honestly, I'm probably gonna be a nervous wreck. But, um... But, you know, once I get into the swing of things, once I get used to, like, how the job works and, like, what I have to do and how to best accomplish that, then I'll be good to go. So, yeah. She. Hmm. All right. No idea what the hell that's all about, but all right, cool.
But yeah, so super nervous about it, you know. They're going to give me a call back about that, I guess, sometime next week, I think they said. About, like, the information about, like, orientation and shit. But, yeah, I can't believe that they're already talking about, like, orientations and shit. Like, that's crazy, dude. Absolutely fucking crazy. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Damn it. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I didn't even mean to pick that guy up. I was just happened to stop near him. But yeah, um Yeah, crazy shit going on in my personal life, man. Crazy fucking shit. Like, I can't believe, like, how quickly that escalated. Like, again, I wasn't, uh... I wasn't expecting, uh... them to move forward with that so quickly. They're already talking about getting me involved in, like, orientations and shit like that. Like, they haven't even done an official interview or anything yet. I just filled out the paperwork for the background check last night, and to the best of my knowledge, I haven't broken any laws. Or at least I haven't been caught for breaking any laws, I should say. I mean, technically, like, every time you speed, you break the law, so I mean, technically I've broken the law a countless number of times, but still, you know, I mean, who doesn't speed, am I right? People consider it rude if you're not speeding. At least here in Illinois, but to be fair, everyone in Illinois drives like an asshole, so... If that is not already abundantly clear based on how I'm driving in the video game... <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, honest to God, everyone in Illinois drives like a complete fucking douchebag. I mean, pretty much everyone in Illinois is a complete fucking douchebag, so, you know. To be fair. Illinois is just a state of douchebaggery on many levels. Illinois just sucks, man. There's nothing good about Illinois, which is why I want to get a new job so I can move out of my dad's house and move somewhere far, far fucking away from Illinois because I hate Illinois. The taxes are insane. Apparently, they're going to let criminals start roaming free now, so that's, you know, that's probably going to help the general public be more safe, right? That's probably a good fucking idea. Let's let people who commit second-degree murder just not be prosecuted for their crimes. That's a smart fucking idea, right? Yeah? Yeah, I think that's a smart fucking idea. Why the fuck would any say... I, like, honestly, I try not to be too political, but, you know, I'm just... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, but... Yeah, um, anyway. Regardless, the main point is that, uh... Yeah, already setting up, like, fucking orientation shit for that job? That's crazy, dude. Fucking crazy. Like, I cannot believe that they're already setting that shit up. That is just absolutely crazy to me. But yeah, I was talking to the person on the phone. And honestly, I was, like, so nervous when I was on the phone, I wasn't really paying attention to what she was saying at all. Which I probably should have paid more attention to it, because she was talking about, like, availability and shit, so I should have probably paid more attention to it, but at the same time, I was just so nervous that I wasn't really paying attention, so... Yeah, just crazy, man. Crazy, but it's good news, you know, I'm making progress in the story of my life, I guess. So that's, you know, that's a plus. Because again, as much as I would love to just sit around spending my life being a lazy bum, unfortunately I can't do that, so yeah. But I'm probably going to have to change my availability at, like, the restaurant for right now to, like, no availability. Because, again, I got to... From the way it sounded, like, I have no idea, like, what the scheduling is going to be like over there because the lady on the phone, like, thoroughly confused me. Like, completely confused me within, like, the first two seconds of explaining their availability. I'm like, okay. I wasn't following what she was saying at all. I don't know if it's just because I was, like, really nervous or something, but, like, I wasn't following what she was saying at all. I'm just like, yeah, I can work whenever, pretty much. Yeah. So... But yeah, I also told her, you know, I'm like, yeah, I can switch my availability at the restaurant to, like, whatever if need be, you know.
know, so. Yeah. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, because I want to focus on this job and not focus on, you know, the job at the restaurant as much, which kind of sounds shitty, but I need insurance, so, you know, I kind of want to get up in that. But yeah, so, um, working on that right now, um, um, yeah, I'm going to have to switch around my availability a lot at the restaurant, but it's all good. Figure if I can still work at the restaurant, you know pick up shifts here or there then I'll be good to go so yeah all right well either way guys that's pretty much my main update for that so next time I'll try to focus more on actually playing the game so yeah all right well either way guys that will do it for the first part of this just gonna do a few parts to this today again quick recording session I ended up picking a shift up at the restaurant so I don't have as much time to record with today Plus, I woke up really late because apparently I forgot to set my alarms last night because I'm fucking retarded, so that's great. Anywho, uh, stay tuned for the next part of this shit coming up next, and uh, yeah, till then, peace out.